and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some more Mono Green Tron. Only played this deck a couple of times, but it's been a blast every time that we've played it. And I wanted to try uh, changing just a couple of cards in the deck since the last time that we played it. The main thing here is that I'm going to play a couple Wayward Swordtooths here in the main deck. Uh, before, there was like an Adventurous Impulse and Bond of Flourishing, just like a couple of those random cards. Um, but instead, I want these Swordtooths in here to be able to pair with Crucible of Worlds. So like whenever we have Crucible Field of Ruin going, I want the Swordtooths in there also uh, to be able to get uh, multiple land drops a turn with that. Uh, we'll see how they work. Uh, we'll see if, if it ends up being something that we really want in the deck or not. Um, but I got those in there. Also have a Vivian in here now um, as well that can be able to tick up and find more lands. Because like if you have a Wayward Swordtooth in play, you're going to want like more land drops. And Vivian can do that while also having some interaction with the opponent. Um, or, you know, finding more Explore creatures as well. Now, since that kind of raises the curve a little bit, I did add a 24th land in here. that We, we only had 23 before, so put in a Karn's Bastion as an extra land. I think that could work out pretty well with all of these uh, all these Explore creatures that can have counters. All of our Planeswalkers have counters. Nissa makes a bunch of lands with counters. So I think it could be nice just to have a Karn's Bastion in here, especially if we have a lot of mana with help of the Nissa. So that'll be interesting to try out there. Um... All right, besides that, uh, other things in the sideboard, I added in a Sorceress by Glass, a third one, because uh, that was a card that I really liked getting with Karn, with all these Planeswalkers everywhere, so got a third one uh, in case, you know, like one or two are destroyed. <clears throat> and I added in a, a Plain White Celebration before there was the Vivian in the sideboard, but I put that Vivian in the main deck. So this is for whenever we play post-board games where our opponents are interacting with us a bunch. Uh, and it's a longer game because there's a lot of interaction back and forth. And then we can have like seven mana basically redraw four cards from the graveyard, right? Return the four permanents from our graveyard to our hands. But it does so much more than that. Like that's like one, like that's like the main mode is we'll want to like get back like all these planeswalkers that our opponents like make us, you know, discard or kill or anything like that. Uh, but then you can also make tutus if you want or proliferate. So, like, if we have, like, you know, a Vivian Reed in play, we may just be able to, like, play this card and just surprise our opponent by proliferating four times and putting four counters, like, on our Vivian and then ultimate Vivian. You know, like, that could be a thing. Or, you know, surprise ultimate Nissa while putting a bunch more counters on more, more uh, lands and stuff like that. I just want to try this card out here in the sideboard time there. Um... People have asked a bunch about playing Silent Gravestone over Sentinel Totem, and honestly, I don't know which one's better. I, I see, I can see why. Like basically, they both have their pluses. Uh, Sentinel Totem can like be better against Arclight Phoenix, like immediately exiling graveyards. Um, Silent Gravestone, you know, shuts down Command the Dread Horde while also being able to exile with that other part. I honestly don't know which one's better. Uh, yeah, that's basically that's basically it. We just kind of had Silent Gravestone in here and haven't taken it out. Um, but I don't I don't know. To be honest, I'm just I'm just gonna have the the Silent Gravestone. But I I could certainly see the Sentinel Totem beating better. <clears throat> um. But yeah, that's what we have here. I, I did take out a Force Landing, or maybe even two. So Flyers could be a little bit of a problem. But we'll see. Helm of the, Ho the, the point of Helm of the Host is after you have God Pharaoh Statue in play, or Meteor Golem in play, whenever you have one of these two, and if you have a lot of mana with Nyssa, uh, so basically you have to have like Karn and Nyssa in play, but if you have a lot of mana with Nyssa, then you can use Karn to go grab Helm of the Host, and then Helm of the Home host copied statue or golem and, and really end the game and shut the opponent down. So that's not something that we're going to do too often, but it's something that could be pretty cool. Uh, we could also, you can also copy spy glasses. That's the other like thing you'd have to like make spy glasses creatures with Karn. That could be another cool thing to, to do there. 
All right, there we go. That's Mono Green Tron. Let's go ahead and play this over in Ranked. Also, I've only played this with the traditional constructed matches. I want to try this out over in Ranked and see how it goes. So let's do that. Um, so somebody asked for a link to a Simic deck. Uh, all my deck lists are on my Stream Decker page there. Oh, and oh, uh, Kodra sent you there also. Um, any other questions I missed? That's true. Yeah, the, that's a good point. Spy glasses are free whenever you have Ugin out there. Cool, he found it. Yes, if you copy an artifact creature, it would be a regular artifact, not a creature, correct? If you if you copied an animated artifact, yes. Well, one land means keep shuffling. Oh, I should have replaced Jaya with Karn for my avatar. <laughs> Thanks, Mutan. Yeah, everything's going good. Blast zone. If you copy an animated Nissa land, how will you get a land or a zero zero elemental land? Um, I mean, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what would happen there. I guess you would just get a land token. Yeah, like that's... Yeah, you would just get like a copy of the land. It won't be a zero zero or anything like that. You know, it won't be a creature, but you would just get the land. Yep, and that's what you all saying. Yeah, you get non-animated land. So that's unfortunate. There, there goes the Wild Breath Walker with the fight. Um, I don't know if I want to play we are the many. Karn here. With Karn dying to this Spellbreaker. Well, this means I could play Uga next turn by going this route. If we, if I go Uga and tick up, that will let us ascend for sure. I would have to draw a land to be able to Uga and minus. I wish we could get this blast zone on three quickly. We are but moats in a vast multiverse. You have most of. Do you have like the? So yeah, you want to build a budget Golgari Walker deck. Do you have the Explorer package? Wild Growth Walker, Branch Walker. Secrets manifest before you. Those cards help you out. Um. And then, yeah, so that's basically you just want those and then Planeswalkers. Um, mana creatures are good, too, like Paradise Druid and Llanowar Elf. Those are both pretty cheap. Yeah, I would. Yeah, you can add in Llanowar Elf, Paradise Druid, and then just get Planeswalkers. Ravenous Chupacabra. Giving 
is also cheap. Where do you see my mates? And Wild beasts are bringing uh, your that's an unco good uncommon. We can help out. Get you a little removal in there. So I have six mana. I will protect the virtue of this world. Rise, my elemental friend. I battle for the forces of good. Stand down. How much mana will I have next turn? Like potentially 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this would cost 7 plus 9. Gosh, that's so much. Other guilds. Recklessness and fear are the sea. Another bathed in ghost fire. Or boss and Sarkin. Dang, that Sarkin's gonna be rough. I guess I need to name Sarkin. Dang. I was planning on naming Growth Chamber Guardian here. But I gotta name Sarkin. Alright, so next turn I, I have one of these blast zones go to three so I can kill Domri and Spellbreaker. I'm probably gonna need the other blast zone on two. With these growth chamber guardians, yeah. I mean, that just destroys my spyglass, though. Yuck. Yeah, I'd kill my sword tooth. The blast zone on three would. I would like to draw any of my Karn, Nissa, Ugin. Need to draw more planeswalkers right now. <laughs> Have at it, boys. There is great power in the things we make. Well, I don't want to play the Crucible first. Six, seven, eight, nine. 
do have nine mana. So I could... If I... I could minus Karn... Oh, Never mind, I don't have nine mana anymore. gonna be tough. Hey, what's up, Supreme Donut? Thanks for that sub there. 11th sub of the day. Thank you very much there, Donut. So I have to block there, block, block, block. Yeah, okay, so I can save this. Well, yeah, they, they get Sarkin. I'm not finished with you, not by a long shot. They just don't, they'll get Sarkin, but. I think that's worth it. Oh, I should have I should have kept something back to block this mobilized district. Dang it. Or I should just minus two the Karn. I don't know if Meteor plus Helm would have been just GG because they just draw a removal spell. But I, I should have just minus two the Karn and just let the Karn die though, I think. And go grab like the meat the the helm or, or something like that. Go grab something. <laughs> that blast zone is on fire. Um
That was definitely my plan before the Nissa died, you know, before they played the Ugin to kill the Nissa. My plan, like, when I grabbed the Golem the first time, my plan was Golem, and then, um... Golem, and then me, and then, uh, the Helm. I am more. Ether itself serves me. Of course, Land World dies if I attack with it. Come on, listen to them roar. I will consume you. Cool. Got to keep the meteor golem. That's good. A dragon would rather die than lose. So we're not in the best spot. But we're not in the worst spot either. Go three on here. All right, we got one blast zone on three, one on four. Ooh. So I could go Karn. Uh, I don't have enough. For helm and equip, of course. We have this mobilized district Until over here. Statue, do not talk to me of I mean, I, I could tick up on the. I could tick up on. I could make the the this thing a three three. No, there's no wand in the sideboard. Dang. I'm not gonna kill this token. Uh, yeah, I need, yeah, I need meter golem. Or uh, yeah, I need, okay. That was weird. I've already played a land. Kind of wish I would have just put this on four also. Right about now. 
So I'll have six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. So I'll have like Meteor Golem copied. If I if I go Helm of the Host, I can get another Meteor Golem. Oh wait, 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 that curls my Karn. Always another fight. Wow, this whole plan. My whole plan. It's ruined. Oh, it's not that ruined. It's pretty ruined. Ah, Karn's tough. Definitely made a couple of wrong decisions there with Karn. Both times I had Karn out. Uh, getting the spy glasses just didn't work out for me at all. Yeah, the Field of Ruin, right in time, just to laugh at me for getting that Spyglass. Having tons and tons of decisions is tough. You know, sometimes you make the wrong ones. So we'll have the, the Force Landings in here. Be able to take out Rekindling Phoenix. Swordtooth was honestly pretty good for me, matching up with the Spellbreaker. Immortal Sun's not a bad cyborg card, but uh, the, our deck really relies on our Planeswalkers to win. Shutting those down with the Mortal Sun is kind of tough. That's why we just have a lot of spy glasses to just get against the other, the other decks. I guess Ripjaw Raptor is just awesome here. I guess that's going to be better than Sword Tooth. Yeah, Raptor is going to be awesome. What's the other card I'm cutting? I guess I'm getting rid of Vivian, but that Vivian can kill a flyer. So can Ugin. That's one, and then. Crucible isn't really important in this matchup. That can go, and then I guess two Paradise Druids, because I just have to cut something else. <laughs> nice, Elgato. Yep, I'm living here. Bleh. Lands are definitely really important with this, with this deck, how high our curve is. And turn one land war elf is kind of the best. So we're going to just try to not draw lands and draw spells. There we go. Girl Chamber Guardian is awesome. That card was so impressive against me with the Mardu Angels earlier. It was very impressive that last game too. An army of 4 4 is pretty strong. I'm in Virginia. Alright, hope our opponent plays a Rekindling Phoenix here. Very good. Drop force landing. Doesn't look like these fielder ruins are really doing anything. You know, they could have a mobilized district. That mobilized district they had last game really messed me up. Uh oh. Um, 
I don't have an answer for another one of these. The land fights for us. I had an answer for the first one, not the second one. I'm not sure I understand your question. Are they ever going to make land art easier in the future? I don't know what that means. Stop. I cannot protect you anymore. Fight the field of ruin. Dang. <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede coming straight at ya. If I had the other one, if I had Sentinel Totem, I could use Sentinel Totem and get rid of the Rekindling Phoenix. I'm just supposed to get the statue. Gravestone doesn't do anything. Yeah, Gravestone does not stop Rekindling Phoenix. My choices are bad. Yeah, if I would have had, like, Sentinel Totem would have been the best option, but I don't have Sentinel Totem. So maybe that's a, you know, that's a, a good mark for Sentinel Totem over Silent Gravestone. There are greater battles to fight. Silent Gravestone reads that cards in graveyards cannot be the target of spells or abilities, not... Oh, come on, stop having these Domries. Let's just fight. Killing me. It does not state that your cards in a graveyard can't target something on the battlefield. I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. Oh yeah, I'm dumb. You're right. Y'all are right. Return target card named Rekindling Phoenix from your graveyard. So you do target the Rekindling Phoenix in the graveyard. I don't know why I was thinking of targeted the other way. In my mind I had it that it was targeting the other way, but it does not. Alright, so can you... You can go get that now. So Brontodon... Brontodon here though kills Gravestone if I go get Gravestone.
So we'll just play this to have the Brontodon sacrifice and kill this thing. <laughs> chat was wrong. Or sorry, chat was right. I was wrong. <clears throat> looks like if we would have gotten that thing, though, looks like our opponent would have just played the Bronted on the next turn and, and blown it up and got their Phoenix back. Following that. But that would have saved me for life. Drew three rekindling phoenixes. Our actions determine the core. My purpose is greater than myself. Yeah. I just I did not play this match very well. Did not play this match very well. That's okay. Whenever you play you know, like 20 some matches a day, you're gonna make some mistakes. And I made some mistakes there. All good though, moving on. I learned from them. JPA, getting that gifted sub. Thank you so much uh, to the person that gifted that sub out. And j -Pi, enjoy all those awesome emotes. All right, Storm, have a good night. I... I don't think I want transmogrifying wands at all. Honestly, I don't really think I want that for anything except for, like, Rekindling Phoenix. I think it's... I, I want the Spy Glasses. I think there's just a lot more Planeswalker decks like where I want those Spy Glasses more than that random Transmorgrifying Wand of turning creatures into 2-4s. Oh, Hey, Sway's gifting out some subs. Yeah, I've needed all, all three spy glasses for like opponent, you know, because those uh, opponents like removing some spy glasses, you know, killing them and stuff. And needed more. We're up to 17. Subscribers on the day. All right, so. Playing, you know, so Karn dies to Steel Leaf, so playing Karn doesn't help us too much. So let's just blow up this mobilized district and play a Llanowar Elf. Oh, this is a green red deck? I thought for sure it was just mono green if they're playing Steel Leaf and have Colorless Land, but they're green red with Colorless Land and Steel Leaf. Dang. Oh, whoa, I just I missed that. Prugor gifting out 10 subs. So much hype. Thank you so much, Prugor. Everybody's getting these hype boats in the chat. There we go. That's a sub armada there. All them boats. What is going on with this deck over here? Thanks, Prugor. Hmm. Hmm. 
witness the ties that bind us all. Attacks. <laughs> yeah, update notification. I hope some of the new subscribers love using the new emotes. See, some of y'all are. Anyway, Peyton, uh, have a good dinner. No, Hawkeye, don't lay on the keyboard. I don't know how many times we've been over this? Can't. I know you like to lay right there, but don't lay on the keyboard. Okay, there you go. Keyboard's moved a little bit. <laughs> now. Oh, how rude! Please don't kill my Nissa. Okay, it's not gonna kill Nissa. Wild animals I like. So we're gonna have People two, four, six, so eight, ten, the twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sheet. fifteen mana next turn. I'm just gonna Karn go grab Meteor Golem and Golem the Steel Leaf Champion. Hey, what's up, Jay Rockefeller? Good evening. I will fight with honor. My grief is my mission. I think I can wait a turn. Yeah, I don't think I need to blow up the... Vivian immediately. I think I do need to get rid of the steel leaf that I can't really block her like block very well and all that kind of stuff. Um sure you're fine. The land shall conquer you. Next turn I can go grab Either Spyglass for Vivian, or even better, go get Helm of the Host for Meteor Golem. <laughs> I got you, Kurtash. Ah, uh, y'all are so nice. Thank you. Thanks for all the kind words. That can't help. Not bad. Oh, no. Nice. My meteor golem. Yeah, my opponent really wanted to kill the Nissa. The land will not forsake you. Crab people. Go get some more lands. Cool. Didn't even uh, trade with the Pelt Collector. Not again. All right, I'm gonna go go grab Spyglass for Growth Chamber Guardian. Seems like a reasonable thing to do.
Keep them from getting more creatures with the Growth Chamber Guardian. Ripjaw's pretty great. I don't mind that Karn dying too much, but uh, this is just a good trade for me, trading a 3-3 for a 4-4. Yeah, Mardu Angels, I mean, the list is up on my stream decker. The YouTube video is almost ready, but not quite. Some solutions must be built. I'll see if I... I don't want to just, like, throw away the car and we'll see if we get to, like, minus it again. That'd be nice. Um... And Radical Guru getting that sub. Thanks, Prugor. Thanks, Santa Prugor. Definitely need to buy a pack after this. Get into that sub goal. All right, minus. Go grab. My allies are counting on me. God Pharaoh statue. Then. Next turn, I'll have Karn. I'll be able to play like Karn, go grab Helm of the Host, play Helm of the Host. I'll have the mana to do all of that. I will defend my allies. You will then the following turn, I'll be able to equip. We'll be able to tick up on the statue and equip it. <laughs> 19 turn clock it's it'll be a little faster here in a second oh no i protect that which cannot protect itself nissa all right we're gonna need a spyglass for nissa behold nature's true power Double block. Oh, wait. Spyglass for Nyssa. They still get all the double mana. The double mana is a problem. We are going to be attacking, though. <laughs> Pregor's going crazy. Kurtash. Yeah, Kurtash, get those emotes back. All right, one last sub to get to 30. There's got to be somebody in here. Prugor got us so close there. I don't even know what happens at 30. We're going to be cracking open three packs at 30. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I chose the wrong thing. No, I messed up. Oh, no. I messed up. <laughs> Thanks, Stufico. Oh, I messed up. I was doing this over here. All right. So what if I hit decline? Will it go back? No, it'll just be... No, I can't really decline from here. So I guess I just have to spy glass. Ugh. All right, new Karn. I messed that up. <laughs> good thing we still have a lot of mana and we're it's all good. So still have enough mana, so it's all good. I just had to, we had another Karn we had to use. Ugh. 
Yeah, time to start getting the statue copies. We'll Spyglass Nissa next turn. We would have been able to... No, we wouldn't have really been able to do it this next this last turn. Karn can take a hit. That's okay. We don't really have other things that we need to go get. We're just going to be ticking up on Karn. I do not feel pain. Awaken. Still have a whole lot of mana thanks to Nissa. But this should finish him out pretty quickly. And there you go, Kurtash. Love it. All right. Statue copies. All right, so they are a kind of a weird deck. We saw Vivian, Nyssa, they kind of have the same things that we have going on. They had Ripjaw Raptor. Card that I want because of like their other 5-4 and stuff too. Play plain white celebration in this match. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to try this. Now let's get another Raptor in here over the Vivian. All right, so now Mardu Angels is up on, uh, up on YouTube. So we were, we were at uh, six sub goals out of fifteen towards the next stream to the, towards the next sub battle, uh, sub battle day. So, got another three sub goals. So now we're up to nine. So, no sub battle this weekend, but probably the weekend after. Probably the weekend after. Probably next weekend. Okay. Oh, you're going to the pre. So, yeah. Probably next weekend. Don't have to worry about missing it. There. More mana. Real Smoif. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub, Real Smoif. We're just going to game two. We didn't win that match, so we're still 0-1 with this deck right now. Ow. Go for the Ugin next turn. I can almost play Ugin plus Karn. Almost. Not quite. Ooh, no other land. I know more than you could learn in a thousand truth. Lies beyond 
Definitely just one who's going to keep getting me cards and, you know, do some blocking and stuff like that. Don't need a minus. Lugan. Yeah, Nissa with this Karns Bastion could be pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the London Mulligan on Arena. I I'm optimistic that it'll be that it'll be, you know, an enjoyable experience in standard. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hmm. All right. Well, can I play Nissa and Ripjaw? The answer is yes. I can do that and Karn even. What a strange and magnificent world. Ah, secrets manifest before you. Rise, my elemental friend. I have faced worse than the I will not lose another. I guess I could have just played the statue instead of the Ripjaw, but Ripjaw just blocks so well for me. <laughs> Play all the t all the cards. Yeah, our opponent very dead. Whoa, maybe not. Maybe not. Check that. Oh yeah, I have a Nugan out. Never mind. Yep, still dead. Never mind, still dead. Alright, so we're gonna go four for this. Um Yeah, I mean here, just kill this thing. I speak on interloper. I'm not Get this thing. Um, this thing costs four to do. Behold, nature's true power. So I can either equip or proliferate. I can like get a new Ripjaw Raptor or proliferate. I guess I haven't played a land. If I do Jade Light, I won't be able to do either of the others. Let's just play Jade Light. Let's try to hit lands. All right, GG. One and one here with Mono Green Tron. Got to do everything there. Oh, yeah, we could get a new Karns Bastion, couldn't we? All right, we're going to go crack three packs for all of those subscribers during their getting to the uh, 30 spot on the day. We're cracking th three packs. Didn't you hear me? Arena, three packs. Pack time. All right, so we want... Ooh, good call. We'll change the avatar, too. Um... We're going to want Mythics. That's what we want to open up. Any Mythic is better than any Rare. Because whenever we're, we're getting close to completing the set, and so it's harder to get Mythics. Okay, not a Mythic. Very cool card, though. I'm glad that card exists. Ooh, Mythic Wild Card. The best. All right, did need like the fourth living twisters. Not bad. Yeah, I've made yeah, I've updated a couple of things in that Tron list from the last time we played it. Where's Karn? 
Karn. I advise that you yield. Alright, one and one. See, creature, god, pharaoh, and helm just to make every spell uncastable for the opponent at one point. That's what, that's what we did the game too there, Wrath. We had uh, three... We had three uh, God Pharaohs um, in play towards the end there, where they were losing three life a turn, and they picked it up before we could go to the next turn and make a fourth. Not the best of hands. I've never seen anybody play these sleeves and not play a blue deck. Oh, I thought that was Nyssa. Or sorry, I thought that was Jade Light. <laughs> so I saw the the you know I saw the mana symbols at first, you know, green, green, and that, and I was like, oh, it's Jade Light, but no, it wasn't. Is there a drafting stream? No, I, I enjoy drafting. I don't... I haven't had many viewers whenever I do drafting. Hmm. I was hoping it would prevent that. Alright, so this is going to be a tough matchup for us, the Steal All Your Stuff deck. I don't think there's anything I really want to put in. I don't. I want to keep the sword tooth crucible stuff for this matchup. Uh, correct, J Bo. I I do not stream modern anymore. Okay, let's see how we do here with wild growth into jade light. I guess I do these though. So I'll Nissa next turn, Nissa plus Jade Light next turn. Yeah. No, I don't really have a, a cool just Boros deck. Um, I have like, you know, Naya or Mardu, you know, red, white plus other colors. Not any there, just particularly Boros. Keeping manipulation. It's interesting. I must have a lot of blue sources somewhere. I guess I'll wait a turn on the Field of Ruin. I'll, I think I'll let them draw 
the manipulation and then field of ruin next turn. I can't think of any way they can cast that manipulation this next turn. So I'm going to let them draw that and then I then field of ruin the blue source over here. I kind of want to Ugin minus the Paradise Druid. I just played this into a negate now. Oh, I'm dumb. I guess I did that. <laughs> Be wary of the uh, I'm silly. That was a good line I took there. Yeah, Mono Crisis went really well. Uh, the updates that we made to the deck uh, certainly seemed worthwhile. And yeah, it went, went really well. All right, now I'm going to get this plain wide celebration in here. Maybe ramp into. And Ultimate Nissa faster. Or, or something, you know. Kind of think I should just have that main and just have the other, the crucibles in the side, like just have the crucible in the sideboard. I don't think I need the crucible in the main deck because of the Carns. No Nissa, no Nissa, no Nissa. No, no, no. All right, good, no Nissa. All right, well, I should play around Negate, I guess. Two permanents away from getting Swordtooth turned on. Last card's not negate. Kind of feels like it is. No, it's not. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Rise, my elemental friend.
I hope my forest doesn't die. Good. No. It's like my opponent heard me say that. <laughs> Good. Yay. I mean, I don't think they're watching the stream. That's what they wouldn't have. You know, there's a little bit of delay. You know, like it wouldn't have been that fast. They had blue mana with the incubation druid the land before. For us. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 11. It's been Karn, Meteor Golem. I can Blast Zone. And then untap Blast Zone. No, let's, let's Karn, Meteor Golem. Let us begin. You will not... Nature's true power. Forgive me. Okay. <clears throat> so before drawing that card, my, my plan was to, to put a counter on the Blast Zone and then untap Blast Zone with Nyssa and then sack the Blast Zone to blow up the twos, which would have blown up my Branch Walker and Wild Growth Walker, but it would have destroyed their Krasis and Incubation Druid. So that was my plan at first, but we get to do this instead now. What happens if I if I go grab Helm of the Host and my opponent uh, then like and put it on Meteor Golem and then my opponent steals Meteor Golem? Do they get the Helm of the Host trigger at their combat? What happens there? No, no. Okay, good. Well, it doesn't unequip, right? I don't think it unequips. Don't think that's going to happen. No. non-creature artifact. Uh... 
<clears throat> Alright. I was, I was kind of debating whether or not I should, should actually ultimate the Nyssa there and get rid of Nyssa. The 3-3s, three of course, are indestructible, but I don't know. I, I was... I was kind of debating of whether I could, you know, be greedy and tick up again and make another 3-3 three, three before ultimating. Alright, 2-1. I've had a lot of really good games today. That was a good match there. You know, it's after 8 o'clock and I'm only on the third deck. So I'll have a couple more matches to go here. Yeah, we would have gotten... So there's 17 forests in the deck. Um, so I think we would have gotten like 11 out. I think we had 6 forests in play maybe. Maybe we had 5. So we would have gotten like... Somewhere between 10 to 12 forests out of my deck. To up the good density of draw steps. Oh, dang. I'm sorry, Sway. Just... Just... Keep working at it. You'll be good. I mean, that's a good card. I'll keep that. Because I, I do kind of need land drops, and J. Light Ranger helps me hit land drops. Do this. I want to try to keep them from ascending. I wouldn't have blocked. They would have ascended already. But all they need is just one permanent, which they could even get from activating the Adanto. But if they have something like Venerate Luxodon, um, you know, before they would have made like another 3 3. Looks like they have that or a Tribunal. It's a tribunal. Alright, I am... Yeah, I'm taking lethal. Bleh. Mono White's gonna be tough. Yeah, this is gonna be tough for us. Like, I'll just bring in these Ripjaw Raptors, but... It's not... Great. Uh, I think Swordtooth can be difficult to... Ascend. This is gonna be tough for us. Take out a couple of these Karns. There's just, like, these cards aren't even really that good in this matchup. 
Maybe just take out all the Karns and just play Swordtooths instead. No, I don't need Swordtooths. This is going to be a tough matchup for us. Be a great time to draw a Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, Explore Packet is one of our best ways to win the matchup. So yeah, we're keeping the Wild Growth Walker here. Going to draw this Jade Light Ranger. There we go. Yeah, that is a nice looking Plains. I like that one too. It's an underrated Plains. I don't think I've ever used that one. Always kind of looked over it. Alright, Yud. Have a good night. ahead here. Yeah, that works, Victor. It takes a little time. We have an elephant? Gross. You can't beat elephants. Actually, not the best blast zone hand for us. Like, like again, you know, for us to have here. Hey, what's up, Brand? Thanks for that support there. Thanks for the sub. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, like I can't, I can't really ask for a better curve here, and our opponent's still just making us look silly. Yeah, the yeah double history of Benalia with Venerate Luxodon and then Benelish Marshall, <laughs> and the good amount of one drops to like support it to, to turn it all on. Like the two one drops there, it's just greatness. Another J light. Ugh. Thanks, Victor. Sorry, excuse me. There we go. Thanks, Victor. Um, so what do I have? I have eight mana here. I'm play this, and I still have eight. 
I'm gonna do this and this. I guess I have 10. So I had to just block across the board. But that's fine. I chump blocking with Wild Growth Walker and Paradise Druid. I can eat their 4 4 and 4 3. The Blast Zone takes out the, the Aspirant for next turn. We can win this right now on, you know, as long as our opponent doesn't draw anything else, you know, like we have this for now. We'll see if our opponent can finish us off and do those last two points. Not even going to try. All right. Yeah, the, just the Field of Ruin also. Like, the Field of Ruin blowing up that, that flipped Legion's Landing. It's very important. Uh, there's... There's no reason to wait to sacrifice on their turn. They could draw Unbreakable Formation. Um, it's not like they're going to like play some other one drop and into the obvious Blast Zone that I have there. Thanks, Victor. Come back with Sick. Thank you. And actually, yeah, I'm going to play the Sword Tooth over the other two Karns. <clears throat> I like Vivian in this matchup because of their Conclave Tribunals and also like those the uh, those Ascend Flyers. I want Vivian to take those out. Plus, if we stabilize, Vivian is awesome at getting more Explore Creatures and helping us gain life with Wild Growth Walker and Explore Creatures. Wild Growth Walker. Mm. I thought that was Wild Growth Walker there for a second. Yes, friend. 
Uh, history of Benali is still good. <clears throat> It'd be nice to have get a blast zone as one of these colorless lands instead of all these field of ruins. Like blast zone would be incredible right now. Blow up four of these things. And yeah, I, I did block that knight that was going to be a 4-3, like, the next turn. Let's look for Blast Zone. Ugh. Um, so I'm playing Nyssa, and then do I want to play Ugin after Nyssa? Not really. No, I don't think I can really survive that with, like, these Aspirants and everything. I think that the Field of Ruins are, are too good, and it's worth, I think it's worth playing all the Field of Ruins. Um, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I can't take it, unfortunately. I'm taking lethal the next turn from the Aspirants if I take it. Okay. <clears throat> we find Blast Zone. That's lethal. If we can block three, but we take exactly seven. Good game. Uh, three Colas lands. Unfortunately, they were all Field of Ruins, no Blast Zones. All right, two and two. We're going to play one more match here in ranked here with Mono Green Tron to break the tie. We're going to play one more match. Let's see what we got. Thanks, Core. All right, good, good opening hand. There's our blast zone. Obviously, we have it here. <laughs> so it looks like this could be a matchup where having all these spy glasses comes in handy. Don't worry, I got this. If I play Karn, then they get to just bounce my Paradise Druid. Oh, I just didn't attack. Crap. Well, now I'm playing Karn. Went through attackers. Evil must not be tough. I will reach you. I've done the hero thing before. I will not lose another friend. 
All right, so naming hero Dominaria so that they if they draw a land, they don't get to just play this to fairy. Um, our Paradise Druid, of course, has hexproof, Trust me. so they can't I just use a removal me. spell on it. And yeah, they want to kill Karn. That means we get to get rid of one of these hero precinct ones, which is critical. Oh, they're just gonna bounce their hero. That makes sense. Uh, Monorad Crisis is already up. Um, yeah, they they go up. Uh, it takes about forty-five minutes after the league's over before, like, for it to upload. So yeah. The other the other two decks I played today are already up on on YouTube. I should just play the Wild Growth Walker, right? Because I'm not, I'm not going to actually blast zone for two with these spy glasses out. This does. I am. I do like that they are using this Tyrant Scorn this way, though. Less removal. I'm not going to actually use the blast zone on two. I'm just. Getting it up to two to be able to use it for like another time. Perfect. Get all these things out there. They used two of their removal spells. Blockers. Four would come through. Let's do this first. So basically, if I would have played Ugin and ticked up, um, If I would have ticked up um, on Ugin, if they just drew a removal spell, then uh, they could have killed Ugin. But yeah, grabbing the Helm of the Host because Helm of the Host can just get get Jade, you know, like more Jade Lights into play. All right, nice game there. Let's see. I think I want played wide celebration here, I think. No. I'm gonna go in for a sword tooth. Yeah, that can go in for a sword tooth. And keep one sword tooth, one crucible. Alright, yeah, let's do that. Gives all tokens minus one. It's just to the power give all tokens minus one. I don't I don't really like it that much. It would be good here for this matchup, but
Like, it would be good for this matchup when they have Hero going crazy. And if they don't have any other artifact removal. Yeah, it's Amulet of Safekeeping. But I don't think you need that card. Thanks, Core. All right, game two. Time to keep. Hero. Come on, there you go. Hero. Hero. Hero of Precinct One. <laughs> Ow. Want to activate this blast zone? <laughs> that card's good. Right on schedule. Please, no counter spell. Hopefully, we get to Ugin the Teferi. Resolve. Yay. My Most Esper Hero decks these days aren't playing any removal. Or sorry, any counter magic. Good thing we have this plain white celebration. Go grab our Ugin back. Only time will tell. So I think I want to. I think that's the only thing I want is just the Ugin. And then we'll just make two twos. So make three two twos and grab an Ugin. Gotta kill the thief. When you understand the reality, I, your past is unwritten. Yes, I shouldn't have attacked with all three of those. That was a bad attack. I should have attacked with two. I should have left one back because removal spell here kills Ugin. Can't cast instant or sorcery spells during the next turn. I think we can still cast Meteor Golem, though. My on me. Ah. 
I haven't seen a Nazor in play in a long, long time. So they have three. So I still have one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. I can still have five blockers. That's good enough. Against three creatures. That was one card. A little surprised by the, just like the double single block instead of like a double block, but I guess just hoping for a sweeper. All right. Three and two. Good win to finish off the league there with Mono Green Tron. Still just a really fun deck to play. You know, like Ugin, Karn. Karn's really fun. Uh, the first match, I definitely made some wrong decisions with the with my Karn. Um, <laughs> thanks, Gore. And they cost me that one. But it was really fun. Um... I'm not sure if we need the main deck Crucible, honestly. I kind of feel like we don't. That's what I'm kind of feeling there. Maybe we do. I mean, the, it's just, we do have all these cards that can go grab a Crucible from the sideboard if Crucible is good against our opponent. I'm not sure if we need that one in the main. The Planet Celebration was really cool. That card was awesome. Maybe we want a main deck Plain White Celebration. That card's sweet. You like you do like the plain white celebration main? What if So what if what if you would go plain wide main, no crucible, just the crucible on the board, an extra meteor, a second meteor golem in the board. Um instead there and instead of sword tooths what if you played um just had ripjaw's main or brontodon i was thinking brontodon what's better main deck card brontodon or ripjaw Maybe just some Ripjaws and then some Brontodons over here. You think third force landing? Okay, I like I can I can do that too. Third force landing instead of second golem. I like that. I can go with that. Thanks, Credicom. Thanks for the bits. Cheers. Yeah, I like that, the third force landing. And then Bronsonons can be for mono red or mono white. Uh, you know, blowing up enchantments, being a good blocker. Hmm. Swap Bastion for third blast zone. I could see that. Bastion's just so cool. Hmm. I could see that, though. I could see biting the bullet and playing another Blast Zone for those aggro matchups. Also, I'd want to try... I'd want to try this first. With having Ripjaw main and Brontodon in the board. And I still don't know about Sentinel Totem or Sentinel or Silent Gravestone. I guess Gravestone does stop Rekindling Phoenix. This does, which I didn't think at first because I'm not smart. So I'd go with this, but I could certainly see turning this Karn's Bastion into another Blast Zone. Um, I... I don't dislike that at all. But I want to keep trying just the singular Bastion uh, for a little bit. But there we go. I think maybe maybe make those changes. Cool. 
All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it, and please hit the like button over there on the video. I would appreciate that. Um, subscribing to the channel would be nice as well. But thank you so much for watching Mono Green Tron, and I hope to see you for another video.